Okay. Hello, hello, and welcome to Plug TV. Over here with me, we have the very, very, very infamous. Paper is not you. Ah, no, no. Paper. <laughs> not okay. that famous. <laughs> to me, la. Okay, you are pretty, pretty famous in the Singapore local music scene, uh, uh, in the drama scene. So basically, let me introduce to you Mr. Ridwan Johari. How are you, sir? Hi, how are you? Oh. Fine, thank you. Wow. Okay, we've never really hung out, guys. Um, I know him, but we've never really hung out. And then I just invited him over to hang out here. Uh, with a camera in front of us, so uh, not nervous, right? Uh, not nervous, ah. Uh. Nervous. Uh, just, just mm. drink, drink water, drink water. Okay. Uh, this is mineral water, by the way. This is uh coffee. <laughs> <laughs> really, coffee. Okay, so anyway, Mr. Ridwan. Yes. Thank you for being here again. No it's my pleasure. Okay, and uh, since you're here, we're gonna talk about drums, not just drums. Okay, we're just gonna talk about. Yourself first lah. Yeah. Okay, so tell me more about yourself. Uh, okay, my name is Ridwan. I am born in the year 1990. Do the math. Right? Um, uh, yeah, that's all. Hey, is it anymore? <laughs> okay. Uh, I started drumming at the age of 14 mm -hmm. by chance because um, at the point in time, my secondary school needed a drummer. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't in band yet, so mm -hmm. my friend who was a tubist, mm -hmm. Uh, he forced me to join. Uh. He said, mm. hey, you are from the radio control club, club CCA, mm. Mm. which involves me repairing radio control cars and playing around. It is kind of cool. Yeah, apparently. Uh, which school was it? Sorry? <laughs> Sorry? Which school was it? Uh, Canberra Secondary School. Canberra Secondary School. School. Yeah, at School. Sembawang. Yeah. Hey, we were neighbours. I was from Sembawang Secondary. Oh. Ah, yes. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, right. yeah. So, uh, I got uh, so-called forced into the band uh -huh. and the only uh, option was drums at the point of time mm. that was the only opening so okay. i sat there and my friend taught me a few beats mm. and everything else was history because i fell in love with drums and as cringy as it sounds it's true and there yeah. you are here you are Over okay here. yeah so i mean anywhere around singapore creating waves <laughs> in the singapore <laughs> drum music scene okay drama scene okay all right so uh, recently, uh, you've been endorsed by a symbol company. Yeah. Okay, this symbol company is called Zion Symbols. And uh, for someone like you, for anyone to be endorsed by a symbol company is really a big deal. Okay, so basically, tell me more about this hookup with uh, Zion Company Symbols. Okay, so basically, I got to know Zion Symbols through mm. actually a lot of YouTube videos. Mm. Especially if you guys have known about Zion Symbols, mm. they are mostly a lot of gospel drummers who use it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I found them through uh, Sean Wright's video, the drummer for Taeyang. Mm -hmm. I found them out through Eric Moore, mm. who was Eric his previous Moore. endorsements was mm. Zion Symbols. Mm. So I kind of fell in love with it. And for me, I kind of like the boutique route of products. So normally, um, I like to try experimental stuff. So at the point of time, I don't think. I think Zion Symbol was part of that route, of the boutique route. So, decided to try them out. And apparently in Singapore, they don't really have a dealer here. Okay. Yeah. So, I got to know Australia has one. Mm -hmm. So, I contacted the guy and mm -hmm. then he was like, okay, we will hook you up with uh, one symbol for, for, to try it. Mm -hmm. So, I tried it and I love it. I kept promoting it on my Instagram as mm -hmm. you all have seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, okay, dude, the video got a lot of traction mm -hmm. and why not we um, offer you an endorsement mm -hmm. as a return so that you can kind of spread the love of Zion mm -hmm. uh, in Singapore. Oh, and okay. the rest was history. Yeah. Right, okay. That's a, that's a milestone actually for you. So, read one. Yes. You have been playing for quite some time and then you have a few bands under your belt. Uh, would you like to talk about these bands? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. I've Currently, I'm mainly playing for uh, Morning Martians, a wow, pop-punk band. A pop-punk band, sorry. Pop, and pop yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm also playing for this veteran band called uh, Anaquist. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you're a local geek goer, you would know Anaquist is mm. a very, very established and big most mm. rock progressive band. Mm -hmm. So uh, mainly these are my two full-time bands. Mm. I also do uh, a bit of session work. So mm. currently I'm sessioning for this veteran band also called Tacit Area. Oh, okay. It's quite a big uh, deal mm. in the past and also now. Mm. And most recent project is actually um, I'm playing for an R&B solo project with my brother 
Nine. N I I N E. Okay. Yeah. So it's just me and Z from Disco Hue mm. and Jeffers on bass from Cadence. Yeah. So okay. all of us are his backing band. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I think that's currently all that I have. Yeah. So which one do you enjoy the most? Oh. Like, ah, no, 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 no. We're not gonna answer that. Do you want to know? Do you want to know? Ah. Uh, okay. Let's tell lah. Uh, I prefer playing with everybody lah. Fair and square. <laughs> All is good. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. I was expecting the answer, yeah. but it's okay. <laughs> All right, right. I heard you went to Mike Johnston's drum camp. Oh, yeah. yeah. I went to Mike Johnston's drum camp. Yeah. Yeah, Mike Johnston. If you're watching this, shout out to you. Yeah, man. Shout out. Man. Okay. All right. Yeah. So how was it? Uh, Ellie, right? Yeah. It was in. Uh, sorry. It was in Folsom, Sacramento, Sacramento Folsom. Sacramento. Oh, awesome Sacramento. Anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> need to get out my uh, atlas. Uh, get out my atlas. <laughs> <laughs> so, but um, okay. So, t- uh, yeah, yeah. Being there, being there in the uh, mecca of music, America. Mm. So, how's it like? How's it like to learn under Mike Johnston? How's it like to experience? With, uh, yeah, it yeah. was actually quite a surreal experience because mm. I didn't go there alone. Like, I went with three other drummers. Mm. Huzaimi, uh, Benjamin, right? yeah, Huzaimi, right, yeah. Benjamin from Vils and Justin Yeo from mm. Vienna Music School. So, uh, three of us, including myself, went to Mike Johnston's drum camp, and honestly, it's a very, very, uh, it's such an open eye experience for us because number one, um, Mike Johnston is as what you see him on the screen on your YouTube or what. He is very genuine. He's very positive. Mm. He spreads the positive message, and at mm. the same time. He teaches so well, mm. and he has a, and he has a very good sense of humor. Mm. Uh, to be like, to be honest, yes. yeah. So we learn quite a lot from him, and mm. he shares like a lot of details about, I mean the 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 American drumming scene or mm. like the world drumming scene in general because okay. he's been to a lot of places. Mm-hmm. So we kind of actually learn a lot of a lot more um, uh, experience stuff more than just drumming. Okay. Yeah, so life experience. Yeah, life experience is correct. Okay. Yeah. So overall, um, if you guys are planning to go for Mike Johnston camp or any drum camp for that matter, I really um, encourage you to save up that money and try to go for this drum camp because you really open your eyes um, to not just drumming. It's just um, cultural experiences. You get to meet international drummers and you get to share with them uh, a lot of basically a lot of things. Uh. Mm. Yeah. So okay. yeah. Right, so I've invited Mr. Ridwan here to play some drums, okay, and he's going to show us a bit of his thing, right? So stay tuned, we're going to go to the drum set. Right, right. Mr. Ridwan. Right, right. Okay, well, what would you like to share with us today? Okay, so basically it's just a concept of displacement. Yeah, so in general, beat displacement is uh, you have a pattern or a note or a. Uh, wait, okay. Beat displacement is just a note or a pattern or a groove that you either move forward in time or backward in time by a note value. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, to make it clearer, you look at example one. You have a single stroke, which is one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Okay, the blue represents the downbeat, and the red represents the accent. So let me just show it to you. One E and a two. Okay, you might want to try it slowly. It's way too fast to learn something. Two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, so that's the basic single stroke being played on the one. Okay, um, we're gonna displace the single stroke by one sixteen note forward. So we're gonna start it on the E. So you have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Yeah. Okay. So that was exercise two. Yes, that right. was exercise okay. two. Correct. Uh, then exercise three. Okay. Mm. So now exercise three is basically the same as exercise two. You're starting on the E, 
but it's just that instead of using single stroke as your pattern, you are going to use the paradiddle mm -hmm. as your pattern. So it kind of creates this very confusing against the pulse kind of thing. So let me just do it slowly. 3 E and a 4 E and a 1. Yeah, so that was a paradiddle being displaced by one sixty note forward. Okay. Yeah. Right. So exercise four. Okay. So exercise four is also the same as exercise three, but as you can see the instructions there, you bis uh, basically you bring your right hand to your hi hat, mm -hmm. and then your left hand will remain on the snare, mm -hmm. and you will continue your accent on the basically on the the red uh, the red notation. Okay, so this is how it will sound like. E and a four E and a one. Yeah. So if you are not counting or if there is no click involved, you might latch onto the paradiddle melody and you might get confused as to where your true pulse is. Mm. Yeah. So I recommend really putting the click out loud and you counting out loud especially accenting the E like you really have to know that the E has to be emphasized okay. so that you won't get lost okay. yeah all right okay. okay so wow that's a very informative exercise uh displacement yeah displacement there's something that uh we don't really play in a pop rock setting i mean we do but we don't really think about it yes correct now now it's on paper you start to especially with the click now everything's like clearer it's like oh the accent is on this side the accent on that side it, it makes it what, what do you say uh, um it, it plays around with yes. the metronomic value right correct yeah, yeah. cool right <laughs> all right so basically uh that was just introduced uh, on the snare drum hi-hat so uh, not to pressurize you, yes. but <laughs> let's try to play on the kit. Like, I'm, I'm very curious to know how it sounds like on the kit. Okay, no problem. Yeah. So what I will do is just basically I will kind of play a groove. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I will imply the parody groove. Mm -hmm. And then once in a while, I will displace it by a 60 note forward. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I will just kind of play around, starting a parody on the E, maybe around the kit. Right, yeah? okay. Okay, so we're gonna just skip exercise 5 okay, and just um, proceed on to exercise 6. So what exercise 6 is all about is basically the same sticking, the paradiddle, paradiddle sticking, but we're gonna add the bass drum to give it that groove. Uh, so that is when everything starts to sound a bit more weird. Because I like my stuff to be very weird. Yeah. Okay, so... 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a... Yeah, so what I just did was, it's actually an important step, counting out loud together with the click. Uh, it sounds difficult, but you have to start somewhere. Then the moment you do that, you find yourself uh, like a habit, a natural habit to always count and play. Because it will definitely help you, especially in terms of displacement. Yeah. Okay, alright. Okay, thank you again, Mr. Redon. Right? Yeah. Okay, shake hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't forget to subscribe and then leave a com your comment in the comment box below and uh, give us a thumbs up. And uh, of course, don't forget to share. This is a very important part of share if you like this. See you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.